Hello everyone. Good evening to all of you. Magandang gabi in the Philippines. Filipino language. Uh, there are, I think it's the time now in the Philippines. So, magandang gabi uli sa inyong tana lahat. Uh, there are so many languages in the Philippines. And both provinces have their own accent and uh, lots, lots of language. Filipino language. There is a Visayan language. And uh, so many, so many. Yeah. But our language is Filipino. And then second language is English. And third language is Spanish. So, in school, we have to use uh, three languages, English, uh, Filipino, and then English, and Spanish. So, I'm not really good in, in Spanish, but I'm really good in numbers Spanish numbers I still remember uh, a little bit of Spanish language because some of them I already forget for so many years and I don't know if they still using the Spanish language now because in the 1980s we still um, learning Spanish learning English and then learning Filipino um, pl please subscribe and share and likes my video my my channel is Eleutheria Gansen thank you so much for my viewers and my subscribers thank you without you you guys I can't do my YouTube channel without you and please subscribe and share and likes okay guys please support my youtube channel so i have more stories to come for you guys and now today is really cold outside uh, winter is coming and there you go it's already almost 10 o'clock at night. So, wear my pajama. And uh, this is our life in Canada. Everyone likes summer. But everyone don't like winters. In the winters, this is our life, so stay inside the house. Especially if it is really cold outside. So, it's not really fun. Summer until next year, six months from now, that's a long ways though. Uh, next week, we're gonna be uh, forecast snow. 
Yeah. Uh, and then we gonna melt right away, I guess, because of the weather is going up and down. So good luck to everyone. I know I don't like driving in the snow, especially if it is snow blizzard. When I was driving going to work and it's no blizzard, I was crying on the road because I can't see the road. And you know, I live in the country, so it takes me a while before I can get home. Isn't that funny? And I just turn on my hazard lights so everyone can pass me if they want to go faster than I am. And I drive really, really slow. It's better slow than I drive fast and then I go to the ditch. Hi, Brenda. So this is my life here in Canada. Very different than in the Philippines. We don't have enough views here because I live in the country. That's all you can see is uh, the farm. Uh, but we live in subdivision, so we have acres. And it's nice to go outside like I do, climbing on the top of the tree falling down on the tree but when i was a kid i always climb in the tree sometimes i fall down sometimes not sometimes i sleep on top of the tree isn't that crazy when i get mad at home um, here in Canada, you have nothing to do in the winter, even it is really uh, bad weather, you have to go to work, either you like it or not, because you can't call all the time that you're, you're not going to make it on the street because the snow is too thick. So you cannot do that maybe once in a while because no matter how the weather is, uh, the store is open, all the business is open, so, so you have to go to work. Yes, I have lots of experience driving in the snow. Yeah especially snowing really hard you could hardly see the road and and before when i was young i don't scared any anything on the road like just drive slow down it is really slippery and you know enjoy working yeah i enjoy working because my my co-worker is really nice you know supervisors and my college yeah, there's nice is nice if you're um all your co-worker is nice to you and you will be happy working all day and um, I work in a, a good company very good company and I learn too much and talking to my customer every day 
teaching them how to speak Filipino language. So, and now I'm not working anymore. I give up driving in the snow. And I don't know if I'm gonna driving for drive for my grocery shopping. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can drive if uh, it's not really bad outside in the winter. And uh, uh, this is my life. Stay home. Doing all the housework every day, you know, but if you're not working anymore, you don't have to go to bed early like I did before for so many years. I was driving all over in the city of Edmonton and the West Edmonton Mall, the very big mall in Edmonton. Um, when I was dr young, I drive all over the places. Even I get lost once in a while. It, it takes me forever to find my way. <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone is, has to go. They, you know how to drive, but mostly some of my co-workers, they are not driving. They drive with their husband before they go to work. But I have to go drive because I live in the country and uh, we don't have any taxi like in the town. You have to drive. And you know, when you're working, you are, I was on call too. And once I have a call, I have to go to work more hours, more, more pay, something like that. And um, in, in the Philippines, it's nice weather, but on my time, I'm lucky because even I'm not done in college, I have a job right away, and I have a nice job too in the Philippines. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy working in the travel agency, agency in the Philippines. And uh, when I get here in, in Canada, and then I learn how to drive, and I always say, Eli, you have to learn to drive or else you're gonna be stuck on the house. And you can go anywhere if you don't know how to drive, so you have to uh, learn how to drive. It's really funny and scary when the first year I'm driving, especially in the snow, you know, so what did I did is just uh, in the front of the house, just practicing how you control your car for in case uh, you lose control, you know, sometimes you lose control and they're gonna slip into the ditch. So I've been practicing and practicing and then finally, I learned how to drive in the winter. I have to. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it kind, it's nicer because um, only the the weather here is um, the bad weather or in the winter. In the Philippines, it's really warm, 
we have two season rainy season, six months rainy season, and six months summer, very, very hot in the summer. And, and now I used to adapt the weather in Canada. I don't want very hot because I don't feel good. But, you know, you're gonna use to it, so what can you do? You have to do things first, you can, you have to do everything here because it's so expensive to hire someone to clean your house. Not in the Philippines, it's easy to get a um, uh, housemate, but there in Canada is really very expensive. So we have to do it myself. Now when I was young, I do to work, raise two kids, running around, go back and forth, do to work. That's our life there in Canada, work, sleep, work, sleep, and eat. You know, it's not like in the Philippines. Uh, you got a lot of neighbors, friends. Uh, they have lots of um, scenery, beautiful places you can go. Mountains, like I was born the uh, beside two mountains so i i usually like to climb now i can't climb now because uh, you know it's winter it's hard to climb on the tree but when you fall down you won't get hurt yourself in in the winter because of the snow but yeah, uh, it's fine. We live with it, you know. And it's so hard. You feel lonely here because you don't have any relatives and friends. I don't think some of the Filipino here they live mostly in the town is only few Filipinos living in the country like me. So they don't wanna drive and there there is they are so busy. Not in the Philippines when I was working there. Um, Saturday and Sunday there you go. We're going somewhere in the river, in the ocean, you know, catching some fish. But here, we, we live too far in the ocean. You have to drive 13 hours going, 13 to 14 hours going in Vancouver. But I already been in Vancouver and long time ago we traveled in the United States. Long time ago we go in Mexico for the whole month. We get married in Mexico. And enjoying swimming. Now I don't want to travel anymore, especially I have uh, uh, back injuries until now. It's been um, 
um, almost 30 years of my back injury. And now is, you know, when you're getting old, everything, all the illness comes. And, and it's nice because here in Canada, the all the, the healthcare system is good. You don't have to worry about going to the doctors, you're going to the hospital. You just go there and out, get in and out. So not in the Philippines. If you don't have any money there, you you gonna die. And here we have a really good healthcare. Everything is free. While you are in the hospital, uh, your medicine is free, food is free. So that's nicer in Canada. The most important is the the healthcare, you know, because not all people is rich. You know, whenever you go, there's rich and poor. Always the same like that. So here, if you do, if you're not working anymore, when you get old. You have all your only pension. If you're working, you have your Canada pension. And you know, company pension. I was so lucky because I work in the really big company and I have pension. So I have three pension, but you know, everything is getting expensive now. There is no cheap anymore. So you have to watch what you're spending for. Is some Filipino is thinking if you are here in the other countries, you're rich. It's not that the way the life. Whenever you go, there's poor, there's rich. It depends on you. If you're lazy to go to work, and then you, you, you're poor. But if you work, your life is not that difficult, you know? You can, but you can buy anything you want. Everyone here in Canada is almost the same, rich or poor. And uh, that's why I like to live here. And uh, compared to the Philippines, when you get sick there, if you do not money, you're sorry for yourself. And yeah, it's, it's lots of fun if you have money. But here in Canada, you can have three jobs, four jobs. Uh, some of my coworkers, they have two jobs, three jobs. But But me, I have only one job, um, and that's enough for me when I was working. I'm happy working now. I miss all my coworkers, my managers, my supervisors. Ah, that's it. Um, very lonely. 
I have no one with me. My book is deleted too far. So it's not fun, but I guess it's okay as long as you eat good. You can buy anything you want, you know. Not all the time is just happy. Of course, you can go here somewhere and go window shopping, something like that. So, I guess that's all my life here in Canada. I miss a lot my my job, my co-workers. So, and thank you to everyone tonight. And stay warm in the winter. I don't have to worry to drive now. I guess once in a while, so I won't forget to drive. Um, just relax. Feel happy. What you have. Especially now, everything is expensive. So, we survive for it. You know, and, and I like doing my YouTube, so I hope you guys subscribe to Lita Yagansan's YouTube channel. And thank you tonight, and safe drive safe in the winter, keep warm. And lots of fun outside in the snow. So, that's it for me tonight. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Until my next video, maybe snow. Well, this is life. We won't see the green leaves until next year. And all over Canada is solid white on the ground, except for the spruce tree. Okay, guys, thank you. I hope you like my story today. And thank you. Bye.